Alrighty, everybody, episode review time. So we're going to be going over Greatest Raphael, uh, breaking down everything new and everything you need to know about this episode. First of all, we get a new opening segment when they do the whole Welcome to the World of Beyblade. We see Rashad posing very menacingly. If you notice, Ilya is actually still around. Basara, for some reason, just permanently has that purple Bahamut, never really explained. Marketing, there you go. Uh, very beautiful visuals in this, like very well animated. The new opening is probably, I would say, the best animated Beyblade opening. Very good storyboarding and transition. It starts off where it's at the castle. You see a little bit of speed lines, very nice transitions with smears and everything. A little bit basic with uh, the moon shot there, but then after it transitions to dangerous. And you're going to notice that Basara has actually left the main group. And he joins Rashad and Ilya. Content, I guess. So you see Louie, Shu, Free, and Wakia. If Wakia doesn't have a Dynamite release in this season, which I'm, if he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm, it's just going to feel really weird that he was just there, but didn't have a bay or didn't really do much. Like, I guess he did host the Sky Tournament thing, but I don't know. It was really weird. Uh, then after there is the other side characters that are there and Belle does a little bit of a troll and we are introduced to the new big three in this one. Uh, well, okay. I'm dubbing it the new big three. It is Rashad, Ilya, and Basara. And against them is Ranzo, Belle, and Volt. So I do hope we see more of Louis, Free, and Shu. I hope they're not just on the sidelines or whatever. We see uh, Bahamut clashing. Beautiful shot of the Avatar. Very nice actual effects with the eye trails when he's moving in motion. And an amazingly drawn shot visually of Bell with his new Avatar. Beautiful visuals. It, challenge, it uh, clashes against Magma Ifrit, which, by the way, that's the Sequex disc, uh, has Rube, uh, just to mention that, and it bursts it. And a really nice shot uh, where it focuses on all the bladers. So it first goes to Ilya with her putting on her helmet. Stunning visuals. Like, I'm just breaking down the OP. Bissara looks pretty cool. And if you're going to notice, uh, Greatest Raphael, when it's spinning, actually has a little bit of a halo on top, which I find very funny. That's going to be fun to edit for a video thumbnail for review. He's going up against Volt, and that's going to be the clash. And at the end, he has a fire in his hand, and it's, it is Greatest Raphael. And then after, expands the wings. And a very nice shot at the end. I do hope we get this without that little logo thing there, because it is a very nice wallpaper that you could make. Also, very strange is that uh, he doesn't already have just perfect dangerous Belial. They're probably going to just set him up just putting back the upgrades, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it starts off with uh, Volt talking to Rashad because he wants to change his bay, and Volt's like, yeah, no worries. Uh, he bursts Ranzo pretty easily. He's constructing his new bay, and then after he makes Greatest Raphael, we see a silhouette of the Avatar, and he is powering up. He has that merged Zamasu <laughs> aura. That's what it reminds me of, the rainbow aura. They can call it the Skittles aura. He holds up his bay, and he challenges Volt. It took me about, like, 20 times to screenshot this, right? Also, there is a very big... Uh, now, you can tell me if this counts as technically an animation error or if it's not. No, I'm technically counting this as an animation error. Apparently, High Extend Plus in the anime is just black. It's black with the white thing, which makes a lot of sense to me, and I never understood the orange. So, what I'm really confused with now is... Is the High Extend Plus dash that is being released actually orange? If it is, because we saw it from the Koro Koro scans, then what are, what are they doing in the anime to where they did the whole thing in black? Are they going to just do a release in some random booster where it's anime accurate? We don't know. Uh, it's really bothering me whenever I see it. And the anime, how it looks like, very, very nice. Also, uh, there is some confusion with the bay, but I'll get to the gimmicks and everything at the end. Rashad's new launch, he, it's kind of like a... What is it? Pot? When he kind of likes the slow motion thing. He gets a stance and he launches, and you see a little halo when he launches. 
Uh, so the bays are clashing and everything, and Ilya's more confused because Rashad originally had a, an attack type bay, and now he switched to balance. And again, you can clearly see this is black. So this is not like this is just like lighting or whatever. I don't know why it's black. I don't know if next episode they correct it or something, but it's it's really bothering me. Uh, the base clash and it is a draw. Both of them tied. So for the next episode, you see a better look of the Halo, like I already mentioned. He's going up against Bolt. And if you're gonna notice something, you can already see it, and I have to move for this, but you're gonna notice that there's a little bit of a little spring there and whatever. I think there's a confusion with the thing, and we have to uh, double check, because unfortunately they did not actually publish a video showcasing this release, probably only next Friday. But uh, I'll get to it in a moment. There's a big halo at the end, and we do say look at the avatar. Uh, it, it looks... It honestly looks like what Genesis should have looked like, to be honest. I don't know where the wings are on this thing. Aren't there, aren't there supposed to be wings? Cause, cause he, he, he always, or maybe he's gonna grow the wings. Maybe it's gonna like manifest like, or I I don't know, it looks really sick. The avatar looks actually really good. I give a lot of crud to Burst uh, for the avatars, but dude, finally like an avatar that's not like a stupid dragon, finally. And there have been avatars where that's not been the case, where, where, where they haven't been dragons, I mean, but you know what I mean, just I'm tired of dragons. Uh, so a big thing to note before I actually continue with the last part-by-part -part breakdown, there is no phenomenal pain in uh, the opening. Now, my biggest theory to what's going on is that pain, Prominence Phoenix and uh, Rashad's Bay, right, they were swapped. So that's why we see Rashad Bay uh, actually in the anime earlier and probably why it's getting released in November. That's my only guess to why. I, I, I can't seem to make sense of it, but uh, whatever. That's my only guess, because he's not in the anime yet. Or, excuse me, I, I shouldn't say he. They're not in the anime yet with their base, so I have no idea. Uh, breaking it down, of course, we got a clear picture of high extent plus dash. Uh, now, TT, fix the animation error where it's black, or just release a black version of high extent plus dash. Uh, the description is pretty simple. If you don't know, there's a stamina, defense, and attack mode. Uh, and obviously, it's a dash, and it's tall. Uh, this could potentially be good. Uh, I'm not getting my hopes up too crazy. There's a lot of drivers that could probably do better than it. I do think we'll probably see combos that can use it, but I'm not, nothing crazy. Next up, we get uh, the big controversy, right? It's this one. Oh, first of all, yeah, this is a thing just explaining it, but uh, yeah, there is no low and high mode with this thing if you're wondering. I uh, just wanted to get that out of the way. Okay. When it talks about it, uh, you can the, the Archangel Raphael motif, the DB core and armor blade are integrated, and the overdrive system is activated when shooting strongly. So a lot of people, friends, you know, ask, you know, hey, what what, what is the overdrive system? Essentially what the system is, is like the Chosey Awakening. You do a hard launch, and then after we'll activate that specific gimmick. In the case of this, once you do a strong shoot, as your rotation gets weaker and weaker, the armor will jump up and it will change in the built-in metal parts will move, a seven increase, whatever. A balance type right-handed layer, right-handed, right spin, sorry, that transforms from an attack mode. So defense mode's what it is. So attack mode's what's it normally, and then after it goes into defense mode. So it has eight blades in the defense mode, inner gravity, zero blades. Also, it activates a metal burst lock. So... If you're gonna notice, right, if you're gonna actually notice, you can actually even see it on that actual render, but I think of what it's referring to, and you can kind of see those things poking out if you look carefully. I didn't want to zoom in because it's gonna be very hard to see, but there is little metal stoppers there from what it looks like. So when it's saying metal lock, I do not think that it is referring to a literal sense of metal teeth. What I think it's referring to is that there is a metal burst stopper which would make a lot of sense, and I, is there the anime render I can just look at for a second? Okay. Yeah, you can also kind of see it there. You can see kind of like peeking out there. That's what I think it is, so... Because, listen, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, you gotta think about this logically when you're reading the description, okay? 
it doesn't make any sense that it also activates a metal burst lock. Why would, do you not think they would say, oh, by the way, there's metal teeth? But uh, speaking of which, uh, on our shop, we have a pre-order for this release. Yeah, shameless plug. Uh, if you're able to check out our shop and if you're able to pre-order, I greatly appreciate it. If you don't want to or you can't, that's perfectly fine. Just support the channel regardless by clicking like and commenting. So that'll be it for now. And uh, yeah, bye.